welcome back to my channel if you're new to my channel hi hi my name is Elama the one and only Elama the upcoming so thank you so very much for coming around to this channel and please click that red button there that says subscribe after that tap that little bell sign there so that each time I upload a new video you will be rightly notified okay please don't miss out to tap that little bell there so that you you won't be like others that are telling me hey la but i don't get your notification hey la but i don't get your notification that is because maybe you've not tapped that bell please click that bell watch come it's very free all right guys so thank you so very much so in today's video um, i'm going to be sharing with you as i promised last weekend that i'll be sharing with you guys how you can come up with um homemade um ungo as we locally call it here in nigeria that is the alternative to potash all right okay a lot of people use edible potash for their cooking and all that but to me like i always say edible potash is not too um safe for me i prefer the local and um homemade one all right so without wasting much of your time let's go and let me take you to the process a to z process on how you can come up with this homemade um potash alternative all right guys let's go all right guys so this is the palm bunch and the peeling has started all right so this is the palm bunch stem which we are going to use but first we have to dry it but mind you the drying takes up to two weeks or one month to completely dry depending on the weather so now it's completely dry so the next thing we put it in an already made fire for it to start burning okay so let's go So I'm going to let them catch enough fire from here, then I'll take them out, keep them aside to complete the burning on their own. Alright? Okay, guys, so it's kind of halfway burnt, so now we need to take it out of the main fire, then to keep it aside to be burning on its own. Alright? So let's go. Alright, lovely. So... We'll let it to be burning like this until it has completely burned to ashes, okay? And please note, the reason why we took it out from the main fire is because what we want to use is the ashes from the uh, stem, from the palm bunch stem, not the ashes from the other firewoods because if you leave it to complete to burn to ashes with the other firewoods then the ashes are going to mix up together which is not what we want all right guys so the palm bunch stem is finally burnt completely okay but these ones <laughs> did not burn very well so i'm just going to take them out so the next thing we are going to let this cool down completely then after that we'll store it you can store this in a ziplock bag you can store it in an airtight container or any container of your choice but make sure it's a container that you can cover very well and then you keep it for future use all right this is completely cool now so as you can see so the next thing we are going to pack this i'm going to put it in this um, nylon bag so like i said you can put it in any container of your choice so can you see that so now we'll go and prepare the ungu prop okay guys so now I'm going to show you how you can make the ungo, okay? How you can come up with the meringue. 
here is the ash okay so we are going to put um a reasonable quantity in this bowl okay all right then the next thing we'll add some water to it okay okay just give it a stir and then we're going to allow this to settle for about um 45 minutes to an hour okay before we come back and sieve it right okay guys so for this you can take it like this if you want to travel abroad okay you don't need to turn it into the liquid form okay you can send it to anybody in the world like this for those that knows it and for those that use it all right so oh guys don't be like me oh when i traveled the first time or the second time i traveled abroad i carried it in liquid form instead of like this but at some point i got to learn then i started carrying it like this so with this and you know for those that travel abroad you know that your worst enemy is weight weight is your worst enemy so if you can carry it like this as much as you can it's very light all right so that is another thing and one more thing i need to explain guys if you watch the way i burnt the the palm bunch stem i never added any kerosene so when you want to burn it you put it in an already made fire okay and it will start burning from there at a point you saw what we did you take it out you don't because it's something you want to consume you don't use kerosene to burn it all right so like i said we'll let this settle for about 45 minutes to an hour then we'll come back and sieve it out all right guys okay all right guys so now we need to save out the water like i said this has been soaked like this for about um 45 minutes now okay because i want to dash out to do something else so i need to conclude this but you can soak it longer like i said you can leave it for up to an hour some people leave it from morning till evening before they sieve it so it's completely up to you so now we're going to sieve it out This is it. So we're going to throw this away. So now we're going to pour this here. Okay. In the funnel, I still have another sieve there. So we'll continue. So guys, this is the ongo. Okay. I'll just cover it up. So you can store it like this and use it anytime you want okay like i said this one because i didn't leave it to settle for too long that's why it's a bit dark some are very clear the water is very clear so you as you can it. see this one is very clear that's what i'm trying to say okay guys all right but because i didn't leave this for a longer time that's why it's a bit dark so the longer you leave it the more clear um water you get all right so i would advise you leave it for longer time like some like i said some people soak it in the morning and leave it till later in the evening all right guys okay so the next thing let's see how you can use this liquid to form your ongo this is what you use in place of potash I've said that uh, a lot of times in my videos. Okay guys. okay, guys. So now I'm going to show you how you can come up with the ongo. Okay. So first of all, we're going to add the red oil. Okay. You can add as much as you want, depending on the quantity of what you want to prepare. But I'm just using this as an example. Right. So, the next thing, we add this other kind of oil. This is ekiteke, like I, I said in my other video. But I'm going to show you how you can do with this ekiteke and with only the red oil. So, here we add the ekiteke. Okay. So, after adding that, the next thing, we add the, the ungo. Okay. Guys, please, pardon the noise around here. I'm in the village with my friends, so... 
different gists going on here and there. So let's go. You see, the moment I added it, it changed the color. Can you see that? Can you see that? Very lovely. Our ungo is formed immediately. Very lovely. So you can use this to do your ukobi. You can use it to do your um our own local salad, the one we call African salad. Okay, you see how thick it is. This is very thick. That's the work of the AK take. So the AK take makes it it makes the ungo very thick. Okay, and sticky. It makes it thick and more sticky on anything you use it to do, either meat or the um salad, the our local salad. All right. So we are gonna go ahead and do the one without the eke teke. We are going to do with only the red oil. Okay. All right, guys. So to do the second one, here again, I'll add uh, maybe like just two two spoons of red oil. Okay, two tablespoons of red oil. We add this. That's the next thing. Like I said. You can do it either ways with the ekiteke or without the ekiteke. So this one we are doing without the ekiteke. You see, the moment I added the ungo, it started changing the uh, to yellow color. So we we'll mix it. So guys, as you can see, this is the one we made without the ekiteke. You can see this one is lighter. Okay, this one is lighter, but this. You can see how thick it is. This is thicker. Okay. That's just the difference. So please promote the upcoming. Okay. Come to this channel. And you will learn a whole lot of things. So thank you also very much for watching. And with that, I will say I love you guys. And I will see you all by next weekend. Bye-bye. See you soon.